start the regular session meeting. Second. 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 All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Roll call. Charles Randy Steed. Dylan Colbert. Suzanne Umbaugh. George Knoll. Sean Harley. Derek Jones. Lisa Mulaney. Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Minutes of 5-1-2019 regular session. A motion to accept. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes from Wednesday, May 1st, 2019. Second. There's a motion and a second. Any other discussion? Questions? If not all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 So, motion carried. Citizens' input. Does anyone have anything tonight? Mark Umbaugh. Yeah, have you ever thought about putting the citizens' input at the end? Yeah, we've tried that both times. Didn't work? Depends on what they like to state their fact before the meeting. There's a reason we changed it, so that they could talk about what they saw on the agenda beforehand, so we could get input on that before we decided to vote on it at the end of the meeting. It would be all over with by the time they had a chance to talk. That was the reason we changed it. Pete DeVos. Yes, I come before the board this morning, kind of, or this afternoon, this morning, <laughs> this afternoon to kind of kill two birds with one stone with Mr. Bowman in the room. I'd like to ask Mr. Bowman's department, as well as the t uh, board, if I could get the uh, no parking on the street suspended for one day. June 1st, 2019, my son will be having a graduation party, and it's there's going to be a lot of people there. I've had the neighbors i've talked with them they've been kind enough to let me use their yard their driveways but i just i don't want people walking for two three blocks and you know i figured heck we closed the other end of the street down for a whole day for a block party i i was sort of hoping that you folks would see it in your powers to uh kind of suspend that for a day i think they kind of overlooked that in the past for Anyway, but I'd rather just, ask than find out the hard way. We'll go from there. I absolutely don't have a problem with it. We've done it. Mm -hmm. You guys have actually done it for block parties. I mean, on the same it's street for us, so. at the church and the park. And yeah. I don't have a problem with it. You just have to remind me. Okay. <laughs> I heard him say June second. Huh? He's old and he forgets. <laughs> you have to remind me. No, because I did have a horrible memory. So we we all have you, that. You, yeah. Yeah. Especially yeah. that too. I thank you. I'm not taking that question. Anybody else have any citizens' input? Now we'll move on to old business attorney report. Believe it or not, I don't have anything to report. Free, free bone overnight. <laughs> wow. Does anybody have any questions for the attorney? Not that we wouldn't really have to approve it since she didn't have anything. <laughs> All right, I have a letter right here under old business. It uh, states that the um, Habitat for Humanity is going for the grants for house funding. So we do have a, a letter, a certified letter that says they apply for the grants. If anybody that's interested in that. Oh, let's see. Just to clarify, that's the IHCDA program. Is that correct, George? <laughs> yes. Can we give them two parts? Indiana Housing and Community Development Authority. Yeah. Resolution 2019-4, grant programs. Those people that are wondering where the town has been talking for years and we finally had some 
why do you step up and try to plan this for us, uh, Argus Business Incentive Program? Uh, we've discussed it in several meetings. So it's up to you guys now whether you would like to pass this resolution. Is there a motion to accept resolution 2019-4? I'll make a motion to accept resolution 2019-4. I'll second. Is there any discussion? I would just like to make sure all businesses are aware of this program before we start actually accepting applications. I think we need a period of letting them know it's out there. More over the specifics. I think that's only fair to the businesses that they know we have this program because our funds, it, it wasn't budgeted for this year, so our funds are limited for the year. I just think all businesses need that opportunity. You want to see it mailed to them or what do you want to do? Put it in the paper. <laughs> I mean, put it on our sign. Can you post it in the legals? Is that the best way to handle that? I mean, it's. Well, it's kind of a, the website probably website. and the sign, it's kind of a new business. I mean, it could be an up, I mean, it's kind of obviously looking at the, as we talked earlier, the established business if they're upgrading, but it's also for new business, so I'm not sure what the paper, I mean, I guess that could if somebody is looking to locate, but your best thing is going to be your website and probably give it to Carrie and have her put it on the Facebook page and... Use your marketing lady. All right, well, there's a motion and a second. Any other discussion? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carried. Over the next one, appointment of economic development director. <coughs> Dylan, you want to talk on this one? The appointment of the economic director? Yes. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, forgive me, I, I have a terrible memory on specifics, but <laughs> essentially the economic director is assigned to handle economic development for the Argus area. Currently, this is a volunteer position. Um, we do have a nominee, um, but currently, as it stands, that individual will stand as a, what we call a champion until we have the specific guidelines and standards for <coughs> what an economic develop, uh, director will do, how we will ha appoint them, and, and things of that nature. Um, as far as we can stretch it, we'll probably try and keep it a volunteer position even beyond uh, having the proper paperwork drawn up for it. Um, but essentially, that's that's what it is, is, is an economic director for economic development for the Argus area. Did I miss anything? You sound like uh, you hit it. This person has been uh, has stepped up to the table and helped this council out a lot on this. I know it's been talked about for years, and it's coming to hand right now, so with that, do uh, we have anybody in, in, in mind or motion to accept that person? Could you I'll make a motion to uh, give the interim or the champion of the Argus Economic Development uh, Director to Mark Vanderbilt. Second. A motion a second to appoint Mark Vanderweel as our champion for the economic development director. He stepped in to do this for us already. We just need to give him the official title. <coughs> Any other discussion? No, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Our CCD fund. Came back at maximum levy for anyone that's interested in that, we applied for. Just 
just means we're going to get the maximum amount of taxes that we can get with no raises of taxes. Kind of state that. It's just it goes down of the percentage that you get, and then you just have to reapply to get this 100% or the money back. It's not that we raise your taxes, it's just it drops off and we don't get as much, and we ask for it all back again. So that's how that works. Crazy, huh? Anybody else got any other old business right now? Is this where I'd bring up the bylaws we talked about? We want to wait until my head before. Hit that part of my head. Okay. Yeah. New business. Uh, we have a CF1 form for ITAMCO tax abatement. Accept CF1 by Tamco. I move to accept the IMPA CF1. So, no, that was for uh, Tamco. This is the Tamco one. Oh, oh the okay. Tamco one came in. It wasn't on there. Oh, okay, there you go. I move to accept a Tamco CF1. I second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Now we got impas, and it's the same, they qualify. Make a motion to accept the impas CF-1. Yes. Any discussion? What was the second? I'll second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. <coughs> We have uh, every year, we get a letter from the library for the reading program. And here's the letter again for this year from Jane Hall, the director, and Carol Arnett on the board. <coughs> um, they always ask for money to support this. In the past, we've given $250. Is there a motion to do that again this year? Make a motion to give the library uh, $250 for the reading program. Is there a second? I'll second. Any other discussion? No, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Anybody else have any new business? Well, let's jump up to that grant application. Do we have an application? It says downtown ground application, the one we had before. But that was not complete. Are you getting the new one? You've got the new application. I have a new one filled out. No. So I leave that up. <laughs> I've got an old one. So I just need the back page updated. So you've got all the information, I guess. I didn't see that was on there. Sorry, George. That was going to be back a few meetings. I was going to say with that, but I guess we can't put my put my have it. There was no business plan. I'm going to have a business plan. There was a paragraph of intent. Well, it was a business. But anyway, the back it's page was different. Plan. That's a paragraph of intent. Oh, it was different, you know, or different. The back page, page, just the the legal wording that we put in there so I I mean I'll leave it up to you I guess my opinion you know <coughs> what it is if you feel comfortable doing it tonight move forward if you don't we'll get the information back and deal with it at the next meeting it's up to you guys I know where my man I don't know where I stand on this we have a downtown business that's moving from one building to another that's asked Beforehand, when we were in a talk of this, before I had any of the paperwork in hand, <clears throat> so they kind of prematurely gave us an application before we had anything signed in. Uh, 
by the time they just adopted the program. So that's where we're at with that. What are your guys' intent? Guys, I'm going to recommend that you, and again, I don't mean to be difficult about anything, but I think they need to have the proper application filled out and turned in before you act and vote on that. Thank you. Yeah, I'm with that. I think we should take Derek's recommendation and have him fill that. Just have him do the right one. Mark. No, I'm good with that. Yeah. I don't have the correct one. You just passed that tonight. So until that yeah, was done. That's what I okay. wanted to hear. So I'm good with that. Yeah. Department of Head reports. PD. So I got a, a couple things. We um, received the city and town court cost money at the end of the day. And then we had to share it with Bourbon this time, so we got four thousand dollars. Kind of, that helped offset some of the cost of outfitting the new charger. And the only other really major thing I have is that um, Sergeant Rudd is it looks like he's scheduled for a total knee replacement, and he's going to be gone until sometime in July, probably. Boom. When's this taking place? The knee replacement? Um, I think last week. Last week in May. He told me the day today that it won't be too long before we have Officer Carroll back at the school then. Oh, no, it should work out right. It works out pretty good. Um, so, Rackard just moved down. Nobody's really on vacation um, until I go on vacation in June, right after school, and Dave will be back. So, um, Trent, the newest member, is in Rod's shift, and when Dave comes back, he'll just be the cover guy. We'll have two cover guys. We have one guy covering Rods right now, and then okay. Dave, someone needs to take on. Dave's taking vacation anyway, I think, in July, so hopefully it works out. So we still have some part timers if we absolutely have to. Yeah. Well, the goal is to try to cover with our own officers. Absolutely. We can, so. Yeah. The things happen like the other day when I was to go home early, we, had, we almost had to have a part timer come in. That's, that's just yeah, just things happen. Okay. You tell this report. I have my report there. Um, we got a new guy that started last week, Tyler Betts. Uh, he's he's working out pretty good so far. Uh, we're finally getting caught up on a couple things now that uh, Westview Court Project is drawn. Uh, the other thing is the paving. We had a meeting last week on that and. It looks like all the paving, Woodland Trail, Westview Court, uh, should start in mid-June, depending on weather, once they get backed up or something. It looks like um, they'll start one, then move the other. It should take about two weeks for each, pro for each project on those roads. The Colonial Stage project should start in mid-June as well. That one will probably take about seven weeks start to finish, so well, we're going to see a lot of activity here coming up pretty quick. Anybody got any questions for Jamie? Just compliments. Like I said, I, I've seen him out there. I've seen him out there working, Jamie. I saw him on a tractor all day today. You know, I seen him down the ditch digging dirt. I used to see. I thought a ditch digger was one of the lowest jobs, but you know, I saw a utility <laughs> supervisor down there digging away. And you know, they have done a tremendous job. These guys took on a project that. Uh, they may have thought it was a little big. I have some faith in them, and they've done a tremendous job. It looks good, and now, you know, it's just the rest of it. They've got the cleanup and the landscaping to do. But again, Jamie, you, your guys have done a great job. And plus, on top of all this, they've kept the parks mowed. they picked up leaves. they picked up limbs. Jamie even picked up some trash in the back of the truck. You know what I mean? They do whatever's got to be done. You know what the best thing is? Watch it worked the other night when it rained. It worked when it rained. <laughs> It worked when it rained. <clears throat> All right, thanks, Jamie. Fire department, everybody has a report. I have a couple comments. Oh, okay. On the fire department. Oh, sorry. Since I'm liaison now. <laughs> the fire department is looking for more firemen. They would like to get 10 more, if possible. So Carrie Martin is now our marketer. But she is working with the fire department to get that out on Facebook and help them get the word out. And Mark Dean texted me today that the old fire truck is up and running. It's very Plymouth, but it has been fixed or being fixed. And the fish fry was busy. They don't have any numbers from it yet, but I want to thank everyone that attended. 
and especially all of those that worked hard and the spouses and the others that helped prepare food and desserts for it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'd like to add that uh, the fire department did a very good job of that. Um, we weren't able to attend actually sitting in, but we got carry out and it was very good. So hats off to the fire department and the EMS for the job well done and very efficient. So. And the EMS helped with this. It's not just I know it's the fire department. The EMS. <laughs> I added the EMS in. <laughs> I heard it. I was out of time. We had to, <laughs> I missed it. Yeah, I saw you and Dylan. I was like, hey. <laughs> I had just gotten off work. <laughs> Thank you, Suzanne, for that EMS report. Okay, you guys. Sir, you're on. Okay, you guys have my report in front of you. Um, both ambulances are back, and as far as Argus One. Um, we've discussed the problem of chain of command, and I believe it is fixed. So I know that was kind of what you guys received an email, kind of an emergent email from me a couple weeks ago. But just letting you know, I appreciate you guys giving me the go ahead, and we have discussed and fixed that miscommunication. So if you guys have any comments, please. You know, Sarah, when she uh, took, when we appointed her, she took this position. You know, we asked her to be very transparent with us, and she has been more than we've had in a long time. And you know, then when this happened, it's just like everyone forgot her. But you know, I'm glad she was able to take care of it and get it fixed. It's good to see the damages are up and running. Um, just wish we could find some more help for you. I wasn't aware we'd give them a go ahead. <laughs> well, where did that come from? That's what she. That was that about. miscommunication because I was unaware of that as well. But it was, like I said, we've figured out the miscommunication and mended it. So from here on out, we should be good. Um, as far as the notes go, um, we're currently in the uh, middle of switching medical directors to Plymouth. And this month we're working on, we found out we need to do mega codes and um, protocol tests. So all the all the EMTs are, you know, they've gotten all their protocols and everything. So we're going over that um, within the next couple months. I'd like to go up to St. Joe Plymouth and take those protocol tests and mega codes. That's not really anything you guys probably even know about, but I'm letting you be aware that in the next couple months we'll be hopefully switching medical directors. Um, and then on to the paperwork that I gave you guys a while ago. The gym membership contract I've been talking to Derek with, and I'm pretty sure we're good to go on that. Just, I don't know if any of you got a copy of it. It's just a, hey, you're going to go at least four times a month. You agree? Yes. You know, and we'll pay for it. So, and there's three EMT, well, two EMTs, a driver, and then the new officer that were all in that same membership, but he didn't have to do the... Um, the membership as far as going so many times but uh, as far as the bylaws go I didn't hear any feedback from anybody but Derek does anyone have any questions did you get to read through them it's pretty much what we're doing now there you yeah, go. Yeah. well there I mean there's a couple things I think about three things that we just kind of mm -hmm. either cleaned up made more clear um, and that was really it but I mean much there's a lot of work um, putting that together, and for all I know about EMS, it looked pretty good to me, and I really don't know anything about EMS, but um, it made sense when I read through it, and I felt like I could understand it. Um, we had a few changes, and Sarah's made those changes. I don't know that you guys have seen the most recent version. I think they're only a week or two old, yeah. but um, as far as I'm concerned, if Sarah's ready, I think they would be ready to pass again once you've seen them, so maybe at the next... Yeah. Department head report, you could have those presented to the council so they could, if they're inclined to look them over and so review them. So if you want, I can, email, I can email them to Lisa or everyone. I can get your emails and yeah. forward them directly to okay. you. No problem with that. Yeah, no, they, they seem were pretty solid, good. yeah. Also, they were very minor changes they're as far as wording, and you know how you get tired and you start <laughs> making up sentences and half sentences, so. <laughs> yeah. But. Yeah, no. Okay. Well, I, I, I have two questions for you, Sarah. Yes. 
Um, first question is, is uh, what's the status on the new cot? Did you get that in yet? Oh, yeah. That one, they, we did order it and everything. However, they said that it was about a four to six week delivery. Um, I called Crossroads Ambulance Services and Sales, and they're going to install the, um, the actual harness that hooks into the ambulance that holds the cot. Um, so you have that projected, I want to say the first week, second week of June. I'm sorry, I have it written down in my phone. Yeah, we have it projected for Thursday, June the 13th, but that's just projected. That's if we get it in. Um, when we get it in, I'll call and confirm or push it out a little bit further. I don't want ambulance to be out of service while they do that. I'll take it up there, sit there for three hours. They have a little waiting area, and I'll bring it back with it all okay, installed. Okay, so it's just minuscule time. Yep, don't even need to take the top, the cot. They said they have one there that they just hook up, and they make sure all the measurements are good. So My second question is... Um, just a kind of follow-up question, how's the pay, the call paperwork and stuff going? And just kind of a short update on that as it getting more timely and stuff gets done? Um, yes, since that resolution has passed, we haven't had any over 24 hours. Great. Uh, we've had some faxing complications that I called and figured that out with a tech and St. Joe. and So yeah, as, as far as ever since the resolution, we're good. And we're still working on back. Um, back charting, you know, mm -hmm. but that's kind of a, a time thing, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's 100% better than what we had, so okay. thank we're, you. We're all caught up as far as right now, so. Great, great, that's all I have. Thank you, Sam. Thank Thanks you. Thanks a lot. And thank you, right hand man, Rhonda. <laughs> 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 Any other questions for the department heads? If not, I'll entertain a motion to accept. I'll make a motion to accept uh, department heads uh, Second. reports. Second. Motion to second to accept department head reports. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Claims. The total docket for May 15th is $117,052.24. The top five claims are as follows. Claim number one is payroll number nine at $36,382.49. Claim number two is Haskins Incorporated at $16,129.50. Claim number three is the Federal Reserve at $7,205.99. Claim number four is the Town of Argus RSA at $6,387.80, and number five is Hometown Diesel Incorporated at $6,246.60. The top five claims total $72,352.38, and represent 62% of the total docket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have one question. I just haven't seen this before. What is Payment Service Network? Yeah. That is our, to do the online billing. Okay, I wonder. Yeah. Okay, thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? And those charges, Suzanne, they, this initial setup fee mm -hmm. and the annual fee came out like last month, or in this pay period, but it'll be the one-time fee every month that we should be able to cover once and they get signed up or, you know, by not using paper and stamps and ink and everything. So. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Motion accept, please. I'll make a motion to accept claims number 499 through 564. Second. <clears throat> motion accept, accept claims. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Anyone have anything else? I do, but it's minor. But it, <laughs> I'll bring it up. We're going to be having the TGIF and also the festival. The task force, we were discussing the possibility of having a town booth or town table so that, like Mark Dean said, he would be there. And he said he would be there with me. I'm not wasn't necessary volunteering. But the fire department is looking for firemen, so 
in his capacity as fire chief, he would help man it. So if there's different things, you know, we can have it for the town booths to talk about our town, it's the different committees and things that we need people to be on. Or there's a lot of ideas how we can use a town booth. Let's do it. Not to make, I don't know if this is the right time to bring this up, but Jane Hall and I went last Friday over to Bourbon to the uh, mm -hmm. first food truck Friday of the year for them. And we stayed there a couple hours, looked everything over, got a lot of ideas, and, and we've talked to Jamie, we've, we've learned how to get ready to set this thing up. <coughs> One thing I saw over there, and it's something maybe you guys have already thought of, and I just have you brought it up, but the fire department over there uh, has a booth, you might say. And they sell hot dogs and chips and grilled hamburgers and stuff like that. It's just something you guys need to think about, maybe, too. And, and it gives you some recognition, you know, like you said, if you're going to have a table or whatever. Uh, maybe even have some things for people to look at. It's just, they, they have a few little things. It looks pretty neat. What's that, Randy? You want to do an EMS one similar? That sounds wonderful. EMS, fire department, everybody. Mr. Liaison. <laughs> Listen, I keep trying. I was going to say, Suzanne, didn't you do that last year for us? Suzanne, no. Didn't you do that last year for us? <laughs> to a certain degree. It was, I was representing Stellar last year. Right. Yeah. And then same. Summer kids same. We kind of just slid in a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. Stellar can be at that table. Um, this can just be a community table representing the town of Argus. You know, whatever. Sounds, like, it sounds like there's going to be a table at the <laughs> I already talked to Mark. <laughs> it sounds Doing like there's going to be a table. There, at, at the, I think the food truck Friday thing is going to go over pretty good. We've got, uh, Bourbon had 30 uh, some people there, and we've probably got most of them going to be here on our one at, uh, in June 7th. So it looks like it might really be something interesting. We'll have to wait and see. Mm -hmm. Okay. I would also like to thank uh, the town from the church and the crap bazaar that went out there for close, let us close the road for that. We didn't have to close the road for the rummage sale. It worked out that we didn't have to, but I still thank you that we could. It went well. We raised quite a bit of money for our missions. And we just want to thank you for that. So with that, adjournment. Make a motion to adjourn. Is there a second? All in favor, soon by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you, everyone.